Mary and the Inappropriate Artist here and the video you are about to watch is my open studio setup. So everything that I had available and how I hung it and everything and my thoughts about the situation. Um, I do need still to pay my rent and phone bill and eat. Fun stuff. So if you are interested in supporting my journey, painting all 50 states, please check out my Patreon. The link is below in the description. I really appreciate it. Okay, so without further ado, here's the art for the open studio. So here we have artwork by Rhonda Das, my neighbor. She shares the studio. And then this is Damien. Artworks is what you would find him on Facebook. W-Y-R-K-S. Thank you, dyslexia, spelling out loud. I'm still impressed. Okay. <laughs> There we go, and that's Damien's, and these are a couple more of Rhonda's collages. These are wonderful. Oh, I'm I trying call them paper to... cuts. Paper cuts? Thank you mm -hmm. for saying so. That's Rhonda speaking. And then this oh. is my little corner in here, <laughs> and all my little minis. Next time, I think I will hang a sheet or something to make the wall less busy. <laughs> but I think it works for displaying the smaller pieces. And yeah, so some sort of covering to take away the busyness. And this is a beautiful food Rhonda made. These gorgeous, these are chili lime scones. What? Scone They're scone bites. bites. Excuse me. I has a bite. Yes. This is cowboy uh, caviar, they call it. It's, it's, it's basically like a vegetable slaw with corn and bean and avocado looks like tomato and yummy goodness with chips pomegranates from our bush you know cheese and crackers. but the cheese and crackers is just cheese and crackers it's the scone bites are the exciting part this is my little suitcase full of fun goodies which has some new some older work in it um some of these older pieces like this one that i did back in 2020 in georgia this was actually, guys, this was the first place that I overnight, oh no, second spot that I overnighted at. Uh, I camped at a boat launch in a, a, down a very long dirt road and um, was my first very long dirt road. I have these three little guys hanging. In the studio, we have these guys hanging. Like, it's nice to have all this hanging up around. I should leave it. Although there are a couple pieces I like to bring back into the studio space into the house space with me but love these like that one of todd's point it's one i did back in 2021 that one also that one i think was 20 no 2021 yep and these are my acrylics which right like those are acrylic this is a gouache you know that one these are acrylics, and these two over here are acrylics as well. Just a little walk around to show you. It's so like this is Damien's face, and this is Rhonda's space. Look at that gorgeous painting. Oh, her clouds are ridiculous. Wow. This makes me want to work in oils when I see these, right? I mean, I don't have the budget yet. I'm still, I mean, I still have, I, I love painting in gouache and I've exhibited great control in it and I'm, I'm getting better and better even with as much control as I've exhibited. Um, but yeah, I definitely, whenever I look at Rhonda's paintings, I'm like, dude, I want to play with some oils. You know what I'm saying? And there's the pomegranate bush. Big fig too. See, look at those gorgeous pomegranates. Well, it is the next day, and no, didn't sell anything, but we did have a few visitors, so that wasn't too bad. I think it was a good turnout and a great first if try. If you like, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and again, please check out that Patreon. It helps me with my monthly income, and hopefully also to publish my book at the end of all of this. So, well, I tried to get a video of this eclipse, but... <laughs> I forgot a filter. You can see it kind of going off to the left there.
Thanks for joining me today, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.